What's the status of this storm now, now that it's already made landfall and it's mm -hmm. into Georgia? Quickly dissipating is now a tropical storm, but it's still packing a punch in some parts of Georgia. Yeah, so gusty winds for them. They're getting the worst of it now that it's a tropical storm, though it's still 70 mile per mm -hmm. hour gusts for them. Mm -hmm. uh, but for us, things are improving more and more through the morning. A couple of showers. Otherwise, that's really it for Central Florida, which is what we like to hear. OK, so let's get to it. Tropical storm Helene winds of 70 miles per hour racing to the north at 30 miles per hour pressure continues to go up as the storm continues to weaken. Here's also a look at the track. So now that it's a tropical storm, it has a lot of land interaction. It is expected to be a remnant low later on today as it moves through uh, Tennessee and into Kentucky. From there, it's just going to meander around Tennessee and Kentucky as we go through the weekend where they will be dealing with some heavier rainfall and uh, the potential of some flooding. So if you have some plans today to go out in these locations, just be aware that they're still going to be dealing with this for now in central Florida. It's not too bad. We do have some quick moving showers across parts of Osceola County, Orange County, some pockets of heavier rainfall racing over towards Port St. John through Titusville. A couple of showers around Scottsmore and Mims. Then behind that main line, we have another line working towards I-4 in Seminole County and Orange County. Now I do want to remind you, we still have some advisories up, even though uh, we are not really dealing with a lot of the system anymore. A high surf advisory in effect until 4 o'clock. We also have a coastal flood warning in effect for our East Coast locations in Flagler County. This will go until 8 o'clock this morning. Now, of course, we had some pretty strong winds overnight last night, and Eric, we're dealing with some power outages. Yeah, I mean, we had tropical storm force wind gusts, and that would make sense when you look at the power outage map. I would also add, though, that because the winds have calmed down in our area enough, power crews are already able to start working on things. So at this hour, 8,500 folks without power here in Orange County, 6,000 without power in Brevard, but look at Volusia, 14,000 without power. 44,000 people without power here in Marion County. So there is definitely some people waking up without power. Sorry about that, but we'll be able to restore things quickly here in Central Florida. At least looking outside here in Daytona Beach, it's a beautiful morning. It's breezy with a few passing showers around. Not a huge concern, but notice the rain chances are dropping off by lunchtime. Mostly cloudy skies will actually turn more partly cloudy later this afternoon, but it's going to be a hot day. Highs today into the lower 90s and already it's warm and muggy. 79 in Ocala, 80 degrees 80 degrees in Orlando. That tropical air mass is in play. So for us, basically the idea is gusty showers now, but little by little we'll be clearing out and getting on with our life. And it's in perfect timing for the weekend. Today's Friday. Back to normal. The weekend, hey, maybe a little warmer than late September should be, but that's fine. We'll take you county by county and help you plan your weekend forecast as well. I got you covered. We'll see you in just a couple of minutes.